Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage and we are back today to break down the Diamond Claws event. Uh, this is the event that we have been saving and hoarding campaign energy for and now it's finally time to unload this starting Monday early on. So in case you guys missed it, this is actually also going to be featuring a leaderboard here for a Diamond and Old Man Logan. But more importantly as well, the T3 ice weight materials, that's very limited. We don't know how this is gonna become farmable later on, but um, here's another great opportunity for us to take advantage of the leaderboards and build upon the stockpile of energy that we have saved up. So hopefully you guys have also been saving energy as well. Now, uh, before we break down the math and how free to play friendly this is, I just wanna give you a quick little recap here on how you're gonna be participating in this event. How to score points, as you can see, it's gonna require the engagement here of co Cosmic Crucible Battles. You're gonna be needing to use campaign energy, and on top of that, power cores and the collection of these Midnight Coalition Orbs are all going to add up. Uh, ultimately, that's gonna translate to leaderboard rewards as well, and we do have that transparency here, which is always much appreciated. Uh, but let's not forget, there's also some monthly things happening too. There's a DJ Deadpool mixtape event, uh, uh, sorry, uh, DJ Deadpool mixtape item that you can actually achieve from this. So you definitely wanna be gunning for that if you're interested in the monthly, and that's gonna help out also um, with the disco balls. So again, starting August 12th, which is the coming Monday here. And uh, before I even break down this table here, let me show you guys real quickly what the leaderboard looks like, just so that way you can get a sense of what the rewards are achievable, right? So typically most folks can land usually in the top 10,000, top 7,500 if you already saved up energy. And as you can see, that's gonna give us some pretty juicy amounts here of T3 ISO 8 credits, as well as uh, T3 level one ions. And on top of that, the radioactive treats that we can utilize obviously in the store to build upon our crystals and further ions. So overall, um, I think a very reasonable mark to be aiming free to play is gonna be top 5,000, top 10,000 if you've saved up campaign energy. Otherwise, as you can see, even the one to 10%, 11 to 25%, you're still going to be able to, to nibble on some rewards there. So definitely some um, some rewards here at all to be uh, across the board, but more so how high can you climb? And ultimately, if you can land in the top 1,000, that's where the diamond of Old Man Logan is going to be situated. But that's beyond my scope anyways. I don't even have Old Man Logan at 7 red. So I'm going to be gunning for that top 2,500, top 5,000. We will see. I'm also planning to use Power Cores for Gore, the God Butcher. So definitely stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, right before we go into the math, guys, I do also want to quickly just pivot here to the web milestone. Because remember, each and every one of these main milestones always has a web milestone. So typically from the past, we've seen these add up a sizable amount of points. And this one is no, uh, you know, no exception to that. As you can see here, it's going to require you utilizing incursion campaign energy as well as doing some blip battles. And evidently here, I don't know if the math is incorrect, but it's actually a really, really easy event. Each battle in Blitz is gonna give you 10 points, and typically we have 40 to 50 different teams. So actually this milestone is gonna be super easy. You don't need to be using power course or incursion energy. Um, so thankfully we haven't needed to ever hoard that, which has been really, really good. From a web milestone perspective, this is actually gonna give us 12,000 points that we can add into the actual main event. So keep that number in mind, but as you can see to the far right and all the orange, those are all the Diamond Claw milestones and Coalition Orbs that's gonna add up. Obviously the augmented gear does help um, build up a roster, but that's really what we care about. What's gonna be adding to the milestone points. There's 12,000 points in total there. Now let's scroll back up here to the main milestone so that way I can start showcasing for you here what we should be gunning for. You know, again, similar, everything in the orange, um, you're gonna be gunning for the disco balls. There's radioactive treats all across the board, but actually there's also two mega gold orbs that we're gonna be able to take advantage of. So make sure you're gunning for that. Uh, there's a DJ Deadpool mixtape, as you can see above it, and then additional radioactive treats in addition to uh, some diamond orbs. So how free to play friendly is this? You know, what's gonna be achievable? You first need to understand the point differentials here for the different scoring methods. Battling in Cosmic Crucible, each time is gonna give you a thousand points up to a limit of 18,000. And yes, if you really didn't care about Crucible, you can actually get all 18 battles uh, by throwing all your attempts in the first match if you really just wanted to see how high you climb, but um, you know, completely up to you at the end of the day. Spending of campaign energy is gonna to translate to two points per. Spending of power cores is gonna be five points. And then any of those Midnight Coalition Orb Fragments is gonna give you one point. That's essentially the simple breakdown of what you can achieve. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I do want to point out here that obviously these points and rankings and what's going to be free to play achievable is going to be completely dependent on if you did you hoard energy? Are you planning to use power cores? Because if you are doing either or or both, 
um, your rankings here can actually be very, very high and as well place you in the leaderboards. So this is my summary right now in terms of what's going to be free to play achievable. I have not included any hoarded campaign energy. I have not included any of my power cores that I'm using because I want you guys to understand conservatively, you know, where you're going to be ranked up if you're just not prepared for this event. If you didn't hoard and you didn't have power cores to use, what's going to be achievable as, a, as the ground level? This is what we have. So assuming you do... And just to recap too, right? Uh, this is a seven day event. So make sure you guys are just following this to a T and the game plan as per usual. And like I said, anything extra is gonna be bonus, but this is a seven day event. Each Cosmic Crucible battle being 1000 points, which means it's gonna give you 18,000 there. Assuming that you spend 200 power cores per day, which I think is a very, very reasonable mark now that they've re revised the arena payout, uh, it's quite easy to hit this mark. You almost generate 100 to 150 power cores per day just by playing the game and knowing how to play the game. So the arena um, is going to give you that extra little bit of cushion now to start saving a reserve. Assuming you're using 200 power cores per day, that's going to translate to about 1100 campaign energy, um, which is going to give you close to 15,400 points. And with the 200 power cores getting utilized, that double dips because it also translates to points, five points per. So for the seven days of those 200 power cores being utilized, that's also going to give you another 7,000 points. And then finally, I touched on this before already, but we're getting 12,000 from the web milestone. Adding all this together, it's going to give you 52,400 points, which is actually north of milestone 12 and milestone 14. Milestone 12 being the mark of where you're going to be needing to hit that uh, Deadpool mixtape for the monthly item. And furthermore, the 52,000 is actually going to give you the two mega gold orbs that we previously mentioned already. So this is a really good event. The, um, we previously just had the pool party event that gave us uh, some additional mega gold orbs there. And this is no exception. This is going to also reward us for that. Now, I did add the 81,000 points at the very bottom here because... I do believe I'm going to be hit, hitting that for sure. I'm going to be spending close to 4,000 to 5,000 power cores. That's why I have it highlighted in yellow because this number can be very, very lucrative depending on how much power cores you're going to be using for this event, especially when it translates to five points per power core utilized. So, um, you know, 5,000 cores used would be another 10,000 points. So I think I'm actually going to be able to hit that completely free to play. Um, I'm going to be going for Gore's Unlock and adding him in, into my arena team. But that's my game plan, guys. I also have campaign energy saved up. Um, and I've been, I've been, you know, talking about that on the channel for quite some time, ever since dating last week. So hopefully you guys have been able to follow along. Hopefully you've been able to use your power cores as well. But now it's time to take advantage. Let's see how this is going to translate to the leaderboard. And if it's successful, I'm going to keep on communicating this with you guys. Hopefully this helps you guys out. But yeah, uh, overall, super easy event. This is going to give us some juicy rewards here in terms of mega gold orbs, uh, radioactive treats, and an opportunity here to get even more of the T3 purple ions as well as radioactive treats to help prepare us for Dark Dimension 8. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you guys have been following along as well because there's been tons of activities. But every time we have a game plan, we've been sticking with it. And... Um, achieving beyond uh, expectations of what we typically would have expected. So, yeah, um, thank you for the time as always. Let me know anything in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.